By the time we Dhammadidas have any ideas about being a true monk, we had to go through several tests which were challenging physically and mentally. These difficult lessons had within them so much more than meets the eye. From my background, uh, growing up traditional Christian, I started to have a lot of questions and trying to find answers to those questions that I was not receiving in my surroundings. So one of the reasons I started looking towards uh, the Dharma teachings. Well, I uh, wanted to receive some expert instruction on meditation. I'm, and plus I was curious about the life of a monk and what it means really to be a monk, what that really is. So between the two things, I thought I should come do it. As Buddhist monks and Buddhist novices, we have been given the opportunity to practice meditation and other things in the northern part of Thailand. The air is fresh and cool in the morning, amidst the fog and natural surroundings of a small village in Chiang Mai. We go out on our first alms round.当徒步化缘这是我人生里面也是第一次的尝试第一次的深深的体会因为我们都要赤脚的走在这一个路上说实话这一个路上的小石头啊扎的这个脚非常疼都直穿到心里面什么叫刻骨铭心突破的时候都
They are necessary for the well-being of the monastic community. We also learn that our daily chores facilitate our meditation practice. For example, we do not just clean something, but we must focus our attention on our work and on the greater good of the community. Yaho 内在的精神上面的富足 But in the monkhood you have just enough It's everything that you actually need And with that minimization things slow down And you find out you don't need all the things that are out there in the world uh, I like that as well and I think that helps you be more mindful uh, yeah, I think that was just to show um, are you being mindful enough when you're eating? Are, are you cleaning your bowl enough? Um, like, did you finish your food? Uh, and yeah, I think, I think that, that was good to maybe wake up some people who aren't being so mindful uh, when they eat um, and to make sure to clean everything thoroughly because when you, when you wipe it, uh, it's just a lot softer on the mind. It's less messy when you're cleaning it in the water, so. Our monastic chores enable us to develop good habits and a good relationship with each other. All of us feel fortunate that we can be here to live the simple life of a Buddhist monk. We learn that all we need are our set of three robes and a few necessities. We must endeavor to train our body and mind so that we can become a true Buddhist monk. Two 特别辅导老师啊教导老师他们披上袈裟后从事那么艰难的工作可是他们却充满了法喜好像很自在好像生活应该就是如此他们非常享受他们的生活他们也为他们的付出和喜佛会命而感到如何说自豪吧很自在很
simply a sacrifice. And so like it's the most important part is sacrif the sacrifice you make in your, your heart and your mind. You can ordain as a monk, but maybe you're not a monk in your mind. But when you make the commitment to, to ordain, you say, okay, I'm going to give up, in a sense, I'm going to give up the world to gain it at the same time. So you give up the worldly pleasures, the desires, the life of you know, luxury. But in a sense, you, you also feel like you're, you're in such a beautiful place and you, you're awake, you're present. And so you gain the world at the same time. Um, for me, I, I've changed, been able to change my life because of Buddhism. And that means everything. And I think uh, it's not every, any, every spiritual leader or teacher at some point has made a sacrifice to, for others or for in the name of love or compassion or some cause. And that's something that every human should strive for. And we need more people to make these kinds of sacrifices, to not, to not follow money and power and fame, but uh, transforming their inner self through meditation. The International Dhammadite Ordination Program, or IDOP, provides the physical and mental training necessary to become a true monk. This is an international program, but it has only one objective, and that is the earnest learning and practicing of the Dhamma. Uh, I agree 100% with that. Uh, I think some of the most successful um, social activists show that that is true. Like uh, Mahatma Gandhi said, you have to be the change that you wish to see in the world. And so they, are, and Martin Luther King too, uh, they, they both understood that uh, change happens from within inside the individual. Um, and everyone's always, nowadays, they're looking to point the finger at someone else. Like, they're the reason there's a problem. Like, if we only, uh, like, fixed them, then, you know, our problems would go away. But it's just not the reality of the situation. It's like, I think a, a, a shift in consciousness needs to happen. And I, the only way to do that is through meditation. So, for me, I think, uh, Understanding it more is, uh, and, uh, and practicing meditation is the most important thing for the world nowadays. One enters the monkhood in order to find the necessary freedom to practice the Lord Buddha's teachings for the purpose of putting an end to suffering and making clear the path of Nibbana. Plus the fact that the bonus to me is the meditation. I didn't come here just for the meditation, but the meditation is a, is a cream on the cake because the cake, the foundation, is, is, is doing good. So I believe anyone who is in position of power, whether you are CEO or your political leader, uh, is an absolutely need that they should have a meditation as part of the program. The, the next part of life will change tremendously in a positive way, the way it, it will change for me. I'm gonna spend my next 30 over years living my life differently, creating impact back in the business world quite differently because of what I've learned in the teaching of Buddha. As Buddha says, don't just believe me, go find out for yourself If you would like to learn the Dhamma and experience true peace, give yourself at least once in your lifetime 
the opportunity to enter the monkhood. Come to learn about inner peace. Come to be a part of the Triple Gem. Come and join the Mass International Dhamma Diet Ordination Program, IDOP. If you are interested in uh, Buddhism, in meditation, in a monk's life, come see. You know, there's a Pali word we learned, ehi pasiko, come and see. And that's a lot of what Buddhism is based on. You don't accept what someone says because they're someone special like a Buddha. You try it yourself. So this is a chance to try it yourself. And so uh, you don't come here to just to be a monk. You come here to see what a simple life can bring. And it really does a great job in a pretty short time. The end of our journey is not everything. Because the journey itself is also important. It is filled with the opportunity for happiness. It is filled with the opportunity for success. If the road is rough, we must proceed carefully. If the road is smooth, the pace can quicken. Life is not predetermined. We can choose how to live our life. We have given ourselves the opportunity to choose a new way to live. It is what we do as International Dhamma Diodas.